The most bizarre adventure of Super Mario is full of secrets and hidden details that you can't miss if you're a fan of Nintendo and its history. Here you have 25 secrets of Super Mario RPG for Nintendo Switch. If you go to save the game and cancel more than 10 times and then save the game, Mario will strike a special pose. If the number is odd, Mario will look sad. And if it's even, Mario will seem angry? At the beginning of the adventure, Toad will accompany you to take your first steps, although he will find himself in a tight spot when a monster attacks him. Now, if you save him and advance in the adventure, he'll explain how to use the hammer when you defeat the Hammer Brothers. But if you don't help him and you let him die being devoured by monsters, you'll miss out on the hammer explanation for being a bad person. Mallow's psychopath ability allows you to read the minds of the enemies, and there are some quite curious thoughts out there. For example, the gorillas say they aren't inspired by existing apes, a reference of course to Donkey Kong. Birdo, on the other hand, flirts with Super Mario, while Wizakoopa wonders if that's the baby from a long time ago, referring of course to the kidnapping of Mario and Luigi in Yoshi's Island. For years, Yoshi's feet have remained hidden under huge yellow shoes, but in Super Mario RPG, you can finally see what Yoshi's feet really look like. Boshi's a troublesome Yoshi who lives on Yoster Isle and has broken his shoes due to his claws. However, he's not the only special Yoshi here. The baby Yoshi in the nest asks Mario for a lot of cookies, and when you give him more than 30, it transforms into the super fat baby Yoshi that became a phenomenon on the internet for its strange appearance. Gino's design stands out a lot among Super Mario characters, although he's not the only one. During the development of the original version, it was proposed that Gino had a much more epic appearance, similar to the characters from Final Fantasy. In fact, one of his versions looks a lot like Cloud, the protagonist of Final Fantasy VII. There is a secret code hidden in Super Mario RPG, and to activate it you have to pause the game and press the following sequence of buttons. Down, up, right, left, L, R, L, R, B. When doing this, Toad appears to announce that you've activated the game's secret code, but he doesn't know what it does. He takes a look at the stats and checks if you've leveled up, but in the end, he'll tell you that the code is useless, but he had a good time with you anyway. This useless code is a reference to the hidden code that could only be activated in the Japanese version of the classic Super Mario RPG. The Nintendo Switch version of Super Mario RPG does change a few controversial things from the original Super Nintendo version. For example, references to fictional characters such as Bruce Lee, a martial arts professional mentioned by Mallow have been removed. Valentina's breasts are now much more realistic in proportion, while the boss Punchinello who throws bombs was going to be named James Bond, but Nintendo decided to change it to avoid any lawsuits from James Bond. As a final reflection in the weapon world, Bowser reads a poem about his life. This poem is a haiku, a short Japanese poem that consists of 17 syllables in three lines of five, seven, and five syllables. In the English version, it's indicated below that it is a haiku, while in other languages, such as Spanish, this poem is signed by Bowser, removing any reference to the original Japanese version. So to honor this ancient Japanese tradition, we've written a haiku as well. In every jump, Mario uncovers a secret. With Malo and Gino, your team is completed, revealing hidden details like threads in a panel. Subscribe quickly to our YouTube channel. There's a treasure in Super Mario RPG for the Super Nintendo that was impossible to get throughout the game unless you reached it at the beginning. Now to get it, you had to quickly jump on a toad and hit the air even before you were told about the hidden chest. On Nintendo Switch, this problematic chest gives you a second chance as Toad appears later in the adventure, allowing you to reach it whenever you want. Super Mario RPG has some crazy crossovers like Link sleeping in the Rose Town in. Samus napping in Peach's castle before fighting Mother Brain, or some toy-shaped spaceships of popular Nintendo characters. On one side, Star Fox's R-Wing, and on the other, the Blue Falcon and Fire Stingray from F-Zero. In the Booster Tower, you can also find a toy box with Samus figures from Metroid, the F-Car type from the stunt race video game for Super Nintendo, and Diskin and Rob, the NES mascot and peripheral robot. 
The craziest challenge in any Super Mario game is in Super Mario RPG and involves jumping 100 times in a row on an enemy. You have to press the button at the exact moment to bounce and repeat this action until you complete the challenge, which literally isn't indicated anywhere in the game, but unlocks a super suit, the most balanced defense in the game. The way in which you get some items in this game is weird. In Super Mario RPG for Nintendo Switch, these inconsistencies were maintained as a tribute. To get fertilizer, Mario has to walk through the air just because he can. If you win the random casino side look minigame a hundred times, they'll give you a star egg, which brings dancing stars onto the screen and damages enemies. And if you equip Peach with the nurture ring and use an LGBT egg sold by the toad trafficker 10 times, it'll eventually open and reveal a little lamb. This item can then be used to turn some enemies into lambs and have them fly away to their planet. There's a secret boss in Super Mario RPG named Kullix who's a bit odd. Even to access him, you need to exchange some items, and Mario can open a door to fight him. Now, he doesn't actually belong to Mario's world, but to the world of Final Fantasy instead. This enemy uses elemental crystals like those in Square Enix's game. Kullix flat out says that he doesn't belong in this world, and furthermore, Final Fantasy music plays after his battle. Finally, in the Nintendo Switch version, he mentions that he has waited a long time to be in three dimensions, a dream that has finally been fulfilled in this version of Super Mario RPG. Additionally, the developers will thank you for defeating him and completing the game in their encyclopedia section. If the Sniffit staring into infinity on Booster Pass defeats Mario, the game won't end. You can be defeated up to five times, and if you return to Booster Tower, you'll find these five triumphant Sniffits after being promoted as Booster's lackeys. Well, the fifth Sniffit will be left out due to a lack of vacancy. The most powerful attack in the game is Geno's Geno Whirl. It deals 9,999 points of damage and only works if you press the action button at the exact right moment. But it does have a trick because bosses are immune to this powerful attack. Although in the SNES version, there was a bug that made Xor vulnerable by deactivating one of his eyes. In Mario's team, we have Princess Peach, Bowser, Mallow, and Gino. But where's Luigi? The absence of Mario's brother in Super Mario RPG is pretty evident throughout the entire adventure. You can see one of the wishes belongs to Luigi, saying, I want to help my older brother Mario. The statue of Mario that Garo gives to Valentina is called In Search of Lost Brother, and in the credits, he appears in pixel form. The truth is that Luigi was actually supposed to be in the game and be part of the team. Not only does he appear in the instructions of the original game, an image from the early development stages of Super Mario RPG showed Luigi eating with the rest of the companions, being one of the team. But finally, Nintendo wanted to give more of the spotlight to Super Mario in his own adventure and removed almost all references to Luigi, so he wouldn't steal the spotlight. In the Mushroom Kingdom, there's a boy playing with a Game Boy. When he finishes his game, he'll sell you the console, and you can play the game based on Super Mario World, but shooting beetles instead. If you have Peach and Gino in your team, the background will change, and you'll have a special version of the minigame. Mario learned in Super Mario RPG not to invade Princess Peach's private space, because in her room, if if Mario snoops, he'll find a mysterious and personal item. Now in English, this item is called three question marks. In Japanese, however, it's called XXX, as if it were something very intimate that the princess uses. In the Nintendo Switch version, this Easter egg is maintained in all languages. If you go and see this item after Peach joins your team, she'll scold Mario for snooping among her private things. So uh, what do you think is Peach's mysterious item? In Booster Tower, suspiciously magical things can happen, like going through a curtain and going back in time. If Mario turns around one of the pillars, he will transform into his 8-bit version from Super Mario Bros, and the game's main theme will start playing. Booster knows you very well and has used you to kidnap Princess Peach. When you reach the top of the tower and beat his minigame, he'll open the princess's door using your name, or rather, the name of your save file, as a magic word. On the Nintendo switch, it'll take the name of the profile you use to play Super Mario RPG. 
After defeating Valentina in Nimbus Land, she flies away. But what you didn't know is where she would end up. If you return to the top of the booster tower, you'll find that Valentina is there, and you can watch a special and unique scene that ends with the wedding of these two characters in the game credits. If you buy fireworks in Moleville, you'll see them launch from the Mushroom Kingdom in the game credits. Depending on how many you purchase, the shape of the fireworks will change. If you buy less than three, it'll be a mushroom. Between three and five, a flower. And with more than five, a star will appear. After defeating Helio, colored enemies that resemble axes will appear. Their name in English was Axum Rangers, obviously a reference to the popular Power Rangers. And in case you hadn't noticed, all the enemies sent by Smithy are different different types of weapons like spears or samurai swords. The code name used by Nintendo for Super Mario RPG on the Nintendo Switch was Stella. This name refers to the game's star theme plot and in particular to the character of Gino, who in his early sketches was the wielder of the Mushroom Kingdom Star Sword. Mario can stay and rest in the suite of the Marymore Hotel for a high price, although he's also invited after defeating Smithy. In this room, he can use the shower, and when he does, Mario comes out of the bathroom red because he showered with very hot water. The credits of Super Mario RPG on the Nintendo Switch are a nod to the original game's credits. In fact, they're almost identical. At the right moment, the magic happens and the aesthetics return to three-dimensional with a beautiful final scene. If you want to keep being enchanted by the magic of secrets, don't miss these videos with even more hidden details and easter eggs from Super Mario. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss the next ones. Thanks for watching. See you next time.